Hello everyone, this is Musa from Blender Dojo. I'm making this video partly in response to a comment that I had on my previous video about slowing down particles in Blender. So let's start. You can see here I have my subdivided sphere. If you don't know how to make this, it's very easy. You use the default cube or I can just add a new cube here. Let me show you real quick. You go to the modifiers tab and you add subdivision surface and you increase the level to level 3 or more and do control A to apply. And there you have it. Okay, so let's get started. We add a new particle system. I want to make my particles 10,000. And then you go to render as and choose object. I had an icosphere. Uh, so I choose that one as my object. And now we have our particles. Our particles are coming at a uniform rate and our friend was asking how to control them. The number cannot be animated. If you press I, you will see an error right here because you can't animate the rate of the emission itself. I will make this 500 to align with my video. Now we have our particle system. So if you ask some people about this problem, they might tell you to go to children and try to animate the amount of children. But this produces some weird artifacts and weird results, so this is not a viable solution for this problem. Right, so let's keep that at none. But I assure you that solution will not work. Okay, our solution is to do something really basic uh, if you're a beginner you can still follow along add a uv sphere on top of the original sphere so let's resize it and make it close now if you go to edit mode you can click tab for that select everything and do select and checker deselects so now you have a checker pattern then click p and do selection you are separating by selection uh, now in object mode you have two spheres with the same name uh, sphere and sphere 001 and the cube is the original cube, that is the emitter. Right, so you select one of them and click tab to go to edit mode. And this one, keep, keep nothing selected, go back to object mode, select the other sphere and select everything. Just like this. Right, then go back to object mode and select both of them and control J to join them and now if you click tab you have something like this you can freely move half of the faces and now you can go and add a vertex group 
and click assign uh, this makes it easy to deselect and select if you mess up with the selection you can just go click select and select exactly what you want all right now go to shape key in object mode and click the plus once for basis then click it twice for key one make sure your selection is on key one and go to edit mode and uh, rotate on Z axis uh, you can do it manually until they align perfectly now go back to object mode and if you change this value you see we have an open close kind of mechanism going on that's what we want all right so what does this tell us tells us of course that we can animate this now let's go to physics tab go to collision and select kill particles and now if we play the simulation you see the particles are coming out just normal but if we reduce the value you close the gates the particles cannot come out <laughs> all right so let's have some fun with this and if you open them a little bit a few particles come out if you open it a little more more particles come out the more you open it the more particles come out basically uh, simple logic all right so have fun putting some keyframes with that And if you are new to Blender, basically what I'm doing is I'm just putting my mouse over the slider and clicking I to, pla to place the keyframe. I go to the frame I want, move the value to where I want and I put my mouse in the green or orange space and clicking I to add a new keyframe. Right, now let's play our animation and as you can see as the gates close and open the particle amount changes so basically that's what you uh, need if you are making some rain for example you can do this uh, horizontally with a plane a flat plane and if you don't show the emitting uh, objects you can just do something like this and have rain falling uh, different amounts But uh, let's say you want to show the emission particle. For example, a uh, leaves falling out of a tree kind of situation. I don't know. Uh, depending on your project. So basically you select the collision object. And then go to the orange box and find instancing. 
if you put it at faces and deselect render you can see there is no collision object but the particles still obey the same physics so you can show the emitter without showing the collision object and if we turn on the render you can see our collision object is there that's what you need basically the instancing uh, if you try to turn off the camera right here uh, that might affect the physics or might give you strange results or you can just grab the collision object and move it or delete it Uh, since you baked the particles, the particles will still behave the same. But I recommend not deleting the collision object because if you are not happy with the simulation, you might need to play with the keyframes later. Alright, so that's it for me today. I've been Musa and you've been awesome. Please like and subscribe. See you in another video. Bye bye.